Welcome back to another fun reloading video. Today we're going to be loading up some of the Lee 358148 wad cutters on behalf of Booze and Bullets. He sent me a care package earlier in the month with uh, some wad cutters here to try out and we're going to throw them into the 38 special today. I'm going to try and make this a quick one so we'll go over our components real fast. I've got uh, 22 pieces of nickel brass. I was feeling sexy today, so I've got some of these ready to go. Our powder is going to be Hodgson Clays, and you can see right on the packaging, caliber 38 special, charge 5, 2.5 grains, bullet 148, lead hollow base wad cutter, 1.16 overall length. Now, I don't have a hollow base wad cutter, but I think with this low of a charge, we're not going to be running into too many pressure issues. I think the load is around 11 to 12,000 PSI, which is fairly low. Here's a quick look at the clay's powder. It's a yellow flake. We're going to be using the standard CCI 500 small pistol primers. Here's a look at our loaded round. We've got a slight crimp just barely over the top. And now I've not loaded wad cutters before, so if I'm doing this wrong, someone yell at me. Do I need to shove that bullet down in there a little bit more and then crimp over the top? Or should I have left one lube groove hanging out and then crimp there? Let me know what you guys think. But there's that nice sexy primer to match the nickel case. These are gonna be fun, boys. So here we are at the Dillon 550. We've got our powder measure set up. We've got our primers loaded here. We've got our bullet seating die set and our crimp set back here as well on station number four. I've already run one of them through, so we should be pretty dialed in, but I'm gonna go ahead and do one more by itself and check that one and then we'll just pump them out. So there we've got our first two cases. They're both almost identical as far as I can tell. Same powder, same seating depth, same crimp. So I'm ready to knock out the rest of these and take them out to the range. So one issue I usually have here is about the only problem I ever have with my 550 is the very last primer doesn't like to feed out of the tube and off of the little holder into the cup that it sits on. I've done the 45 case on top. That seemed to help a lot because it used to be the last couple of cases. But now it's just the very last primer always gets caught so I need to get the ram somewhere in the middle here without activating the powder drop and pulling this back and fishing an allen wrench or something in there to barely poke the powder the primer loose we've got our last primer seated into our final case there so i'm gonna double check that this one has powder yes sir and we'll go ahead and seat these final two bullets here and be finished with these. I probably could have flared these out just a little bit more, but we're not shaving anything off. I just wanted them to sit in there a little bit easier before I ran them into the die. 
And there you have it, folks. We've got our 22 rounds loaded up because that's all the nickel brass I had at hand. I cannot wait to shoot these. I'm going to actually shoot them in some paper. Normally, I just go to the steel range and just blast everything. So there you go. Make sure to stay tuned for the range report. I'm going to try and get some range footage in there as well. I have a 2-inch Ruger LCR as well as a 6-inch Smith & Wesson model something something we'll be using. So I'll try and do a couple groups with each of those. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. We will see you in the next video.